In this video, I'm going to show you how you can work with breaks in Empower Charts and how useful they are to make your charts more visually appealing. As you can see, I've already created several exemplary charts to show you which kind of breaks are suitable for which case. So let's start with the value access breaks. By clicking on my chart, our action bar appears above it and in the lines menu you have the possibility to access value access breaks and category breaks. So these are the two kinds of breaks that we can use with Empower Charts. Value access breaks concern my value axis and category breaks concern my category axis. So there are two common cases in which value access breaks can help you to make your chart more visually appealing. In this case, the first series has very small data points and the second series has relatively high data points. And as you can see, we don't see a lot of changes, especially in the first series, and the columns of the first series are hardly visible. A value axis breaks cuts out a part of my value axis throughout my whole chart. And this can help to make my smaller columns more visible. You can work with value axis by clicking on the value axis button in the lines menu. As you can see a new window pops up in which you can choose if you want to use an automatic mode or a manual mode or no breaks at all. So first of all I'm just going to go with the automatic mode which in most cases creates very good results. I can choose which series should be included in the automatic calculation for my breaks and I'm just going to go with both and click on OK. And as you can see, my value breaks appear right here and the smaller columns are more visible and I can see the changes much better right now. If I want to manage my value access breaks manually, I can switch to the manual mode. Right now you can see the automatically generated break which I could also modify. For example, I could go even lower with my first number and even higher with my second number and click on OK. And now my columns look a little different. The second case in which value access breaks can be very useful is the case that we have one data point which is extremely high in relation to the other data points. So we have one very big column and the other, other columns are so small that we hardly see any differences between them. By clicking on my chart and accessing the lines menu, I navigate the value access breaks once again and use the automatic mode again so you can see which kind of results Empower Charts creates automatically. Through my value access break right here, all the other columns are now relatively bigger and more visible. So it makes changes more perceptible. If I want to switch my breaks off again, I never get the value access breaks window once again and just simply click on none, click on OK and all my breaks are deleted as you can see. Another kind of break that we can use with Empower Charts is a category break. A category break is useful for example, if you have a time leap in your categories, you have right here, you have a leap from 2010 to 2019 and maybe you want to visualize that so it is more striking and not so easily to miss. By clicking on the lines menu in my action bar, I can navigate the category breaks. Click on it. As you can see, you can now select the break position. I'm going to use this position right here click on OK and now we have this little visual element added to my chart between 2010 and 2019 which symbolizes a category break. By clicking on it a little overlay pops up where I can further format it. I can change the position once again or I can change the color of it or delete it completely right here. So I hope this video helped you to understand how you can work with breaks and empower charts. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.